On this Veterans Day, crossing it off the bucket list, a 96-year-old World War II veteran conducts an orchestra at Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Not on your side, Jake Ryle is live with the message that veteran hopes to share tonight, Jake. Yeah, Evan, a member of the greatest generation, he has one of the smallest but most impactful messages on this Veterans Day. He wants you to remember two words. Thank you. At 96 years old, I call it a gentleman's walking stick. Charles Carraher Jr. is ready for the show. I really am glad <laughs> that it's being done with music, with a little levity. He enters stage left, ready to take his position as MC. I want to keep alive the memory of World War II. There were 420,000 men and women who died, and I think I owe it to them to make sure that we don't forget about it. Carraher enlisted in the Air Force, a World War II veteran who had plenty of jobs overseas. We dropped paratroopers, towed gliders, uh, evacuated the wounded, and uh, evacuated uh, people from the concentration camps. Today's job at Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. A concert he hopes will strike a chord of thankfulness. When you thank a veteran, you thank all of them. That's the way I feel. When you shake hands and say, thank you for your service, you're automatically thanking all the veterans that have ever served our country. Dressed in his uniform, which still fits, in aviator glasses hiding emotion. It would be an honor for you to direct the last piece. An appropriate end with a bow, the performance of a lifetime. It was America, the greatest country on the world. Always good to have a reminder on this Veterans Day and anytime Carher says he just wants folks to say thank you if you happen to see a service member. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.